So the word is black men are choosing to date interracially. I disagree. It's not that black men are choosing to date interracially. There's certain black men, they have no choice but to date interracially. Let me tell you something. If you are a dork, you are basically invisible to black women. You know it's true, fam. These same guys that are neeks, nerks and dorks. These same guys that are invisible to black women. If one day they woke up and every other black girl that they walked past was giving them the eye and you get me, black girls are now attracted to them. You think they'll be dating interracially? You think they'll care? Yeah, they might still date girls here and there outside their race and that. But if black girls are showing them love, they'll be dating them. Men, we're not that picky. Women are picky. Women are fussy. They got all these standards, all these criteria that needs to be met. Men, we take what we can get. If we had a decent looking girl, not the greatest looking girl in the world, but a decent looking girl, and we're smashing it for a low period of time, and we believe that she's loyal and that, and we get to a stage where we're like, you know what? Man for settle down. Get me one to have youths and that. We end up wifing up that girl. We take what we can get. If you're a guy watching this right now, and you believe, oh, I'm only interracially dating because I don't like black women and black women are too difficult to deal with and that it's my choice to interracially date and that. You're lying to yourself. That's your only option because the black women, you're, you're a nerd. Black women don't want you, fam. Let any man come underneath the comment section that will believe when they're watching this. I'm not settling. I'm not settling. I've got a girlfriend. I'm not settling. You are settling. I'll tell you why. Look at your girlfriend. And ask yourself this question. If you became a billionaire overnight, would you still be with that woman? The answer would be no. So therefore, you're settling for the best that you could get at the moment. If you became a billionaire overnight, if you became Drake overnight, you would have yourself a different girl in your bed, blood. So don't lie. I'm not saying that your girl's bad or anything, but you are settling for the best that you could get at the moment. Because if you became a billionaire overnight, you wouldn't have that girl. Anyway, I'm going to switch the camera and I'm going to show you something because I had an idea to make a, a video and I was going to use myself in the firing line. So, um, yeah, I'm going to compare two different versions of myself and I'll explain once the video uh, progresses. Uh, I'm back using my laptop to compare two different versions of myself, one three, four years ago and how I used to speak back then compared to now. I thought it would be better to use the laptop so that I could share the screens in that. And I know, like I said, people are going to be in a comment section talking about, oh, I haven't settled, or a man's going to at least think that, oh, I haven't settled in that, but yeah, I've settled, fam. Everyone settles in their life, fam, to some degree. Even things that you don't even think about. You see that Mercedes you're driving outside, you're only driving it because you can't afford a Porsche 911 or a Ferrari. The reason why you're working for 40 grand a year is because you can't find a, salary, a job to pay you a 60 grand salary. The reason why you're with the girl that you are today because the best that you could get. If you became a billionaire overnight, you would not be with that girl. Anyone believe anything else? You're a pussy. Or... All right, let's get into it. So this video here, man's talking about everyone has got a skill and a talent now saying that basically... I used to sell crisp drinks in school or something along the lines. And so it's how man used to speak like three, four years ago, wasn't it? I was just obsessed with it. And that's all I used to do throughout my school life to the point where I was so dedicated to it. Honestly, asked anyone who went to my school in my year, they would know me as I was the seller. I was, we used to call it shotting back in the day, man. I was the top shotter in my school, right? I had a few friends who you thought they could compete with me. And when they see this video, they're going to laugh. But they knew I was the ultimate top shotter because they used to kind of take breaks. They would do it for a bit. No, I was on it all day, every day. The only time I didn't sell is when um, I used to get caught for selling now and then. And then I had to kind of lay low and stay under the radar because the teachers were watching me and I was a different person. I felt so out of place, like I had no purpose. You know, most children's purpose in school is to learn. My purpose was not to learn. My purpose was to make money. Now, I've always been naturally a smart child, right? But I use my brain to make money. You think a black girl want to fuck some shit like that, fam? If you move like that, you talk like that, and you're wondering why you can't get no play for no black girls, that's why, fam. Black women, they lack like a certain energy. If you act like a dorky or a neek, you move soft and that, they're not going to be interested in you. You're going to be dealing with dead white gal. 
even blood. It's not even just white girls as well. Yeah, I had an Asian girl before, and I was speaking to myself one time. I was watching one of my videos, like one of the old ones, probably even that one. I was speaking to myself, if I spoke like that at the time when I tried to move to my ex girlfriend because she wanted them girls to India, but she liked street man. Didn't it? If I spoke like that in that video you just saw, when I tried to approach my ex girl, no way, fam. no way. Even even Nadia, she's even upstairs right now. Even Nadia, she would not be interested in man if I spoke like that. Or at least she prefers this version anyway. And what's this version? Obviously, you're looking at it, but I've got a video that I'm going to show you in it. So I've got a little secret for you lot. Do you know what the secret is? There ain't no fucking secret. You see, if you're going to be a landlord, yeah, you have to be built a certain way. Now, if you're going to let some estate agent take care of the property and manage the finances, i.e. collecting rent and that, then I don't know any. But if you're going to be the landlord and you're going to be the person in charge of collecting rent, you have to be built a certain fucking way. If you are a passive aggressive type of person, if you don't like confrontation, you're going to fail as a landlord. You see me, yeah? Man used to host viewings at my property, innit? And <laughs> the people them who come to view the room, they think the viewing is for them to view the room. Uh uh uh. Nah, brother. The viewing is for me to view them. I want to know, say, that I'm going to have a certain calibre of people in my yard, yeah? I don't want no local stragglers, no ratchet ass people, nothing like that. The recording messed up and I weren't willing to re-record it, so that's why I just used the normal clip that I cut up. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if you lined up 20 women that found me attractive and you said you have to pick one version, version 1 or version 2, 99.9% .9 of them girl there, 19 out of 20 would pick version 2 over version 1. And version 2 head was looking a little bit nappy. Version 1 actually looked better. Get me, I had a fresh trim. But it's the tone and it's the energy, it's the vibe. Girls find that more attractive. Man was moving like a like I was a soft you in version 1. What? Alright, man then, I'm asking you fam. You don't even need to write down the comment section. You can write down the comment section uh, if you want to. What person would you rather have a fight with? Version 1 or version 2? I'll take my bets that I'll be able to knock out version 1 easier than I'll be able to knock out version 2. Because again, the energy, the vibe, the tonality in it. So, um, yeah. If you're a black man, you're a white collar black man and you talk proper and that blood, you're going to forever struggle with black women. You talk a certain way, you don't dress a certain way, blood, you're invisible. You're invisible, man. So, I'm not saying, man, for... Um, Start committing crimes and join gangs and that. But I'm just saying, isn't it? Just, you, this is why you're in that situation and that. It's not because, oh, you're choosing to date outside your race. You're choosing to date internationally. Like, no, that's all you can choose. That's, that's your only option, fam. Black girl don't want you, blood. And there's men that think like, oh, well, I ain't getting no love from the black girls and that in this country or whatever, in it, or the girls in this country. So I'm going to go to another country and get girls over there. Fam, if you suck with women over here, you're going to suck with women over there, fam. You don't magically uh, become better looking just because you go to another country. If the girls are feeling you in another country, it's probably because they just want to use you for your money. Use you for a Ross Clark green card, fam. Anyway, man, that's it, blood. Stay where it's done, though.